Hey everybody, this is Doctor Who, this is season 17 and this is part 2 of City of Death. In the first part of this story we met an alien at the beginning who seemed to be caught in some form of distortion, time distortion. And then we randomly jumped to France, um, we jumped to Paris in 1979. The Doctor and Romana are on holiday but these time slips keep happening and we've got this bracelet which is connected to it. We've got Picel who is, he came across as shady completely to start with. And then we go to the Louvre, we've got the Mona Lisa in front of us. There's theft going on, there's a lot of art theft going on. And Julian Glover's got this machine, which I think they're using these little time slips to go steal these precious artifacts, selling them to fund what the research that they're doing. And then at the end, he whips off his face and underneath is a Savoy cabbage. So I'm really, really looking forward to seeing this because it feels different with them filming on location in another country. It actually has a different feel to it, but I like this. So I'm going to see where this one goes. Let's go. Altos has the bracelet. She does. What's that bracelet worth? I love it when we have house sets. They just always look really nice. Marla? That's actually a really good effect. Excuse me, my lady. People you wish to speak to. This looks like okay. Emma's house from Sapphire and Steel. <laughs> Why does he do that? I say, what a wonderful butler. He's so violent. Hello. Doctor. I love how at we'll home he just friendly. makes himself. Well, I'm a very pleasant fellow. <laughs> sit down over there. I hope that's gin. Duggan. Now, Duggan, you sit there. It was to explain exactly why you stole my bracelet. Did you say it was an accident? Ah, well. That's my job, you see, I'm a thief. Mr. Duggan was following me. No. Oh, but yes. Well, you're a beautiful woman, probably. Who sent you? <laughs> Who sent you? <laughs> Doctor, the more you try to convince me that you're a fool, the more unlikely to think otherwise. Those puzzle boxes, isn't it? The yes. bracelet's in there. there. A precious Chinese puzzle box. You won't be able to open it, so put it down. Very pretty, isn't it? Very. His face is, is back on. From? It's not from anywhere. At the Louvre. Hello there. <laughs> How very curious. Two thieves enter the Louvre gallery. So you stole the bracelet simply because it's pretty. It's not pretty, though. Yes. Well, I think it is. Herman were to lock you into the cellar. I he actually hasn't moved with that gun, so... Oh, Duggan, what are you doing, for heaven's sake? He's so accommodating into this. We really should be rather more careful when we do have a Mona Lisa to steal. Is she a cabbage as well? How long has the chateau been here, Herman? And this will be the cellar, will it? Right next Doctor, to the equipment. Your boring conversation does not interest me. They might be able to see what's going on. Light the lamp. It's all part of the plan. There's only one match. And get it right. You tell me to get it right. We could have escaped at least twice if... What we do is... Find out what you can. Stay here. Yes. Let them think they've got us safe. Yes. Let me escape. Well? Will it not work? It's not working. Oh, you and your stupid ideas. Oh, Don't. Would you like to stay on as my scientific advisor? <gasps> Doctor? Yes? The horizontal length of the stairs is about six metres, isn't it? Yes. So there's more rooms. That's fascinating. Shall we look at the lab first? I want to look at the lab first. What use is looking at we the We need to have a look around. I've been thumped, threatened, abducted, and imprisoned. I found a piece of equipment which is not of Earth technology. Do you reckon the Count and Countess are out to steal it? Yes. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm going to stop them. Right. They'll wait till it's God, night. Still open. Ah, now. <laughs> what is your mother doing? Something. I'm in it mainly to protect the interests of the art dealers who employ me. I know, but mainly for the something. What do you think Romana's up to? I don't know. Not why. It looks intriguing. I hope there's places to hide in here. This guy is completely oblivious. <gasps> He's gonna make a chicken. Oh, 
I feel like Duggan's going to completely jeopardise us at some point. The chicken or the egg? Who, who are you? Me. Yes, who are you? What, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the doctor. Perhaps the professor should see it. Is that a projector? It. I should like him to know that while he is no doubt a genius, the man he is working for is altogether more clever. I know what I'm doing. I am the foremost authority on temporal theory in the whole world. The whole world? Yes. It will be but the why? end of feminine the world. It'll be the end of you if you're not careful. Never mind the cow, look. Yeah. I mean, what did I do? I just reversed the polarity. This is very expensive equipment, isn't it? Oh, very expensive. The Count is uh, very generous, a mm. true philanthropist. I Kerensky, uh, Fyodor, you need to start Nikolai, asking questions. Fyodor Nikolai Kerensky, a scientist's job is to ask questions. What on earth is happening? Yeah, yeah Duggan did it. He's fainted. No, I hit him. If you do that one more time, Duggan, I'm going to take very, very severe measures. Yeah, like There's another room behind the wall, bricked up. Is this important? Yeah. Look. Are they storing all the shit they're stealing in this other room? Brick looks very old. Yeah. So there is the problem: a box constructed of steel and plate glass, but merely a physical barrier of our sonic knife. Where did they get that? Blackboard. It's the laser beam. Ooh. Interrupt them and every goes alarm off. in Paris will go off instantly. And to get through them, we must alter the refractive index of... They have really thought this out. <laughs> and then is he going to kill him? Ah. She is so excited about this. My dear, you must be a genius. He seems to be financing some dangerous experiment with time. Where does he find all these tools? The professor, of course, thinks he's breeding chickens. Stealing the Mona Lisa to pay for chicken dress books. <laughs> pay millions for that picture, for their private collection. But no one could even know they'd got it. Yeah, it would be an expensive gloat. I don't think this will work. What are they, Doctor? Stolen items? I don't know. They've been here a long time. What? I don't know what's hanging in the Louvre. They're gonna hang a replica. The pigment too. On all of them? Everyone. What I don't understand. Why are there so many? There's why a man who's got six Mona Lisas. There's seven people who would <gasps> buy the Mona Lisa in secret, but nobody's gonna buy the Mona Lisa when it's hanging in the Louvre. Wouldn't make a very good criminal. No. Would. No. <laughs> good criminals don't get caught. <laughs> I see you found some of my pictures. No. <laughs> They've been bricked up a long time. Yes. I like concise answers. Oh, for crying out loud, this guy is a hindrance. Duggan is to stop his men from stealing the Mona Lisa. Can't do that down here. God's still around, though. Oh, well done. You have, Romana. Got something else to do. I've got to go meet an Italian, middle aged Italian. In fact, late middle aged Renaissance. Come on. I feel like the doctor's going to get framed for stealing the painting. Hello, K9. You all right? this Leonardo that renaissance sunset <laughs> we've not been Leonardo. here since Mask of Mandragora this is great the paintings went down very well yeah where is he your idea for the helicopter took a bit longer to catch on oh, well I just dropped who's this Leonardo actually is he about nobody's allowed to see Leonardo really he's engaged on important work for Captain Tancredi he'll be here instantly it's going to be bloody Julian Glover. Is that a Sontaran? Oh. I think that is exactly the question I ought to be asking you.
for some reason at the end that shadow made it like looked a bit like a Sontaran so I wasn't really sure what was going on it's really nice that we've gone to where Da Vinci is because there's not been mention of him since Mask of Mandragora when he was at Duke Giuliano's kind of or he was invited to Duke Giuliano's party so I'm quite glad that we've gone back in time to where he would be because I just I love historical elements in these stories they're my favorite part of them I'm enjoying this story a lot Duggan is quite irritating mainly just because he kind of constantly is just going against everything the doctor was asking him not to do to like stop hitting people he just keeps on hitting people um it's it's a slightly irritating that he just keeps doing it I don't know if that's like a decision they've made on purpose but I just find it quite annoying um Romana kind of figuring out that there was another room and the fact that there's now going to be seven Mona Lisas that's quite a good little um plot actually I wonder if it's something that maybe they've used this machine and they've gone back in time seven different six different times and just got a Mona Lisa each time done something possibly to Da Vinci's memory so he started again and then they've stolen that one but I don't know it could be anything really but I'm I'm really looking forward to finding out so I will see you guys later thank you